as before, he is the impromptu joke master, the one and only, a most legendary close master within a very short span of time. <laughs> and I do respect this close master very much because he has shown me that anything can be done in any way. No matter where you come from, what you do, you still have, if you have the guts, you can get the glory. So please welcome onto the stage to this podium, Toastmaster Khalid Ismail, to give his topic, to give his speech equivalent exchange. But before that, can I please have his evaluator, Toastmaster Aslan Hamid, to give his criteria. So, Toastmasters, very warm for you to hear once again. And my speaker in particular. He is attempting project number nine from Complete and Communicator Manual, the objection of the speech. <coughs> Persuade listeners to adopt your viewpoint or ideas or to take some action. Appeal to the audience's interest. Use logic and emotion to support your position. Avoid using notes. And timer, please note, five, timing is 5 to 7 minutes. And fortunately, you have to do the speech in English, not Arabic. <laughs> Master of Ceremonies, fellow Toastmasters, and honored guests, good evening. Good evening. From the words of Full Metal Alchemist, written by Hiromo Ayakawa, humanity cannot gain anything without first giving something in return. To obtain something of equal value must be lost. That is alchemy's first law of equivalent exchange. Science proves this again by stating that physics, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So what does this all mean to everyone in this room? That's what I mean. I mean, science has already told us that in black and white that fuel is to fire, fire is to pass, etc, 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 that you cannot create anything out of nothing. It is a perfect law. But, as life goes on and you move forward, life teaches you, and what Hiromo later explains, is that this law, this perfect law, requires a secret ingredient when it comes to humanity. That secret ingredient, my friends, is compassion. The compassion in our hearts. We've gone so far in this world, done so much, without any desire of instant return, where some of us have given us blood and sweat so we could have the things that we have today, while many others have given their lives so that we could see, to see another day. We give so much that it hurts. We give because we can, not because we should. But today, that has changed. Today, mankind is one of the most, can be one of the most selfish, distant, and stressed of this entire world's history. Why? We spend our entire lives trying to find and secure that place in the world, that job, that degree, fame, but we decide to close the entire world and just focus only on me, me, me. How many of us have shut away people in need because we didn't have the time? How many of us didn't give that one dinner because we were saving for that big vacation or a nice home? Really, what is it? What is a few minutes to listen to someone in need when you can listen to someone like me? What is one dinar out of your own pocket to provide for someone that doesn't have even a single kiss? Is it because we think that these people have made bad decisions or are generally bad people that we should leave them to roll in their own beds and have their way with their own folly? No. But fellow Toastmasters, I know this. Each and every one of you, including myself, has been in this scenario. We were sitting in our cars waiting for that traffic light to turn green and we see a man sending balls of water in the immense heat or the Tense cold. And what do we do? 
We see it, we acknowledge it, we roll up our windows and we turn the other cheek. And no, we could help him, we can provide for him, it's only a hundred pills, but we choose not to, even though we can. Why? And what's worse, it's these kind of people who give more than they should and suffer more than they should. So what makes us different? What sets us apart from them? Why do we have to be like we are? It is because we start to believe that the law of equivalent exchange is the only law and that we require no compassion. Why am I supposed to help you if I can't measure its returns? What are my profits? What am I to gain? Who the hell are you? These are the things we think of these days and this needs to change because no matter what we do, this world is not going to go anywhere if we're not going to help people that are in it. We are not going to be where we want to be if we don't have followers. We will not be a real Toastmaster if we could not lead with an example. These are the things that we must do. We should open our hearts to compassion. It is not that difficult. First, you can easily say, smile and say hello. You listen and you listen some more. You stop going on Facebook and liking those stat pages where it says it'll give a dollar to a charity in Africa. Instead, take that dollar and give it to the man who's selling that water bottle. You can go to charities. You can volunteer. The list goes on and on. You can do anything. But the best way to do it is to think of yourself in need. And then, what would you require from your fellow brothers and sisters? And then do just that. Be the human being that you are supposed to be. If you follow the path of compassion, you will find that the law of equivalent exchange is clear, much more clear. Because whenever you do anything out of compassion, it is no longer justified as just a return. It is a promise. A promise to humanity. A promise that your suffering and your compassion will go for greater gain for humanity. Remember, ask not what the world can do for you, but what you can do for the world. These are things that you must remember, because compassion is our only salvation. You must remember this in your heart to keep it to you. This should be your resolution for 2013. Remember, keep this promise. Live and live well. <clears throat> live and live well because this is the way you should live and this is the only way you can live because if you don't this place, this world will never be a better place for me, for you, for anybody so live long and live great because God is great thank you